Welcome back to Say Hi to Hybrid Teaching. This is a continuation of session two. This time we're going into some hardware. Today we're going to go through the teacher Bluetooth headset setup. Every teacher at Crooms has been issued one of these Bluetooth headsets. So today we are going to review the contents that came in the box. We are going to talk about how audio device settings work in Windows 10. We're going to talk about how to pair your Bluetooth headset with your computer and how to set up and use your Bluetooth headset with WebEx. So you should have a charging dock that has four little prongs in it down there and a, a micro USB cable and you have your headset with four little uh, metal plates at the bottom. As obvious, the headset charges by sitting into this little nook. And once it's in there, it's pretty solid. You can turn it over, even upside down, and it stays pretty tight. Now, at this point, if you have not started charging your Bluetooth headset, you must charge it first, right? Right now, if there's no light or anything, we need to make sure this thing is turned off. To turn it off, we hold this button until we see a light. The blue light means we just turned it on. To turn it off, we hold it again until we get a red light. There. Now we know that it's turned off. Okay, so red light means it's turned off. The blue light means it's just turned on. When it's off, we will be able to pair it. So you need to make sure it's off, as in there was a red light and it's turned off before we go to pair it. Now, in order to pair it, we need to talk about how Windows audio settings work. Generally in Windows, your computer decides which audio it's going to route its information to. So if you have a song playing on your computer, it has to route to a specific set of speakers. It can't usually split out to multiple sets of speakers. That means you need to understand where to go to adjust what speakers you want to use. So let's do that. I am going to go screen only for a second. And so I'm going to minimize this. Now to adjust the sound settings easily, we go all the way down here to the speaker. And this right here is where you're going to choose what sort of playback device you want. If you right click this speaker and go to open sound settings, you actually have more options. You have your sound output and your input. So right now I'm using a Yeti stereo microphone to record this video, as you can see. What we wanna do is change the device to our new Bluetooth speaker, but it's not showing up because we need to actually pair it first. In order to pair it, we need to make sure we have Bluetooth on. So just type in blue and then Bluetooth and other devices settings. Click that. You need to make sure Bluetooth is on. Otherwise, none of this is going to work. Now what we're going to do is we have our device. We are going to add a Bluetooth or other device. So I'm going to click this and I'm going to say Bluetooth device. Make sure your device is turned on discoverable. So I'm going to make sure it's off. There should be no blue light, otherwise it's not gonna work. I hold this for five to eight seconds. It'll start blinking like the police. And he said, there it goes. Red and blue, red and blue. So now, hopefully, our device will show up. There it goes. Took a second, but it definitely showed up. All right, so I can select this device. It is connecting and my red and blue should change to blue, blue, super done. Now you can see under audio, BHM9A. I'm gonna close this. Now I'm gonna to go to my speakers and headphones and when I have the choice now, I've got my headset option and my headphones option. So that's really useful. That means we have it hooked up. So let's go ahead and start a WebEx meeting. When you start your WebEx meeting, it actually gives you the options down here on what you want to connect. If you go to settings, you can choose your speaker, which I'm going to use BH hands-free, blah, blah, blah. And for microphone, I'm also going to use the headset. Now these are the three different mics I have, but I'm going to use this one. You can tell that it's picking it up. 
And now everything for WebEx will go through here. Let's go back and double check. So we set up our headset and the final couple features I wanna go over are on top, you've got two little buttons here. There are plus and minus. If you put this on your right ear, then the plus is going to be on the front side. This is where you can actually turn up or turn down the headset. Also, if you slide this up, it significantly diminishes the recording volume of this microphone, but it does not mute it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to swap from my Yeti microphone, which I'm using to record this video, and I'm gonna to swap to this so you can hear some of the quality on the other side, all right? So there'll be a weird dissolve. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we're back. And now you can tell that the audio quality is probably different. I'm gonna put this headset on and I'm gonna go for a walk and show you around my palatial house so that you can see how well this audio will work from far away. As you can see, I can get almost all the way into the kitchen because apparently Bluetooth 5, which is what this is, has a range of up to 800 feet in a like clear space with pure open openness between the two spots. Um, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get that much quality out of this. I've actually taken this particular headset down the hall to my children's room and back, and I lost connection when I was about, I don't know, 150 feet away, but, that's not line of sight. With line of sight, apparently, it's a significantly better option. So, with that said, we have now explained your Bluetooth headset. You're gonna use it for WebEx. You're gonna have your WebEx kids being able to talk to you through here. You're gonna be able to speak with your face-to-face -face students in the classroom. And that's how you're going to teach this year. So, it's gonna be great. This is really gonna help. And I'm looking forward to this year, and I hope you are too. If you need help, you can drop your question in the comments. Or if you're a Crooms person, you can come see me, and I'll gladly give you a hand. We're going to do it. We're going to be fine. We're going to make it. It's going to be okay. I will. See you next time.